morning, beautiful people. It is Thursday, April 11th, 2024. 9.01 a.m. Hit five degrees here in Jersey. A little chilly. The sun's not out. So, um, I wanted to touch base on that video I posted about the flexible gas line, gas connection between the valve and the appliance. Um, I had made a observation that there was no tape, yellow tape, which is made for gas lines or sealing on these connections. Uh, both connections were flared nipples, flared nipples, which the gas connection, the hose, flexible hose connects to. There's a flare, nut, nipple, and then the nut itself, but the hose has a flare on it as well. So it attaches to that nipple, and then you crank down on the nut, and that makes the seal. Generally, and what I've been doing for years is I put Teflon tape, the yellow tape, and some some uh, pipe dough on the threads of the nipple, not the flare, the threads. Um, been doing it for years, never had any issues, no leaks. However, when I was reading, when I was doing my homework, um, I found no codes related to that. Although, I did read some instructions that came with the gas appliances, whether it be a stove, dryer, whatever have you. It specifically does state in there not to put pipe dope or yellow Teflon tape on the flare. So the flare, meaning the flare that touches the hose. So, that makes sense to me. So, just to correct the record, applying tape to the threads for pipe note isn't going to hurt anything as long as it's not touching the actual flare itself, which would impede the seal. So, like I said, been doing it for over 30 years. I've never had a call back. I've never had a problem with leakage. Um, now, getting to leak testing. Again, over the years, it's always been a solution of Dawn dish soap and water. Mix it up. Spray it on the fittings. If you don't see any bubbles, there's no leaks. And you wipe it off with a clean rag. That's common sense. Now, according to code, that's all changed. Now we have to use these fancy, happy, dappy bubble solutions to prevent corrosion and things of that nature. That may be true. And uh, in the future, I will, you know, get some of this fancy stuff that I need uh, specifically for testing gas leaks. So, no problem there. So yeah, I just wanted to touch base on it, because I like clearing the record, I like admitting when I'm wrong, and uh, I'll correct my mistakes, if I make any, and when I do make them, because I do make plenty of mistakes. And it's all about learning, learning new things each day. If you're not learning new things each day, then I don't know, maybe we're all doing something wrong. So, I'm glad that's out of the way. I'm on my way to Sam's Club. Today's a personal day. I'm on my way to Sam's Club, pick up some stuff for the house, and go back home and return to work. Working on a couple estimates. Got a couple jobs coming up next week I need to finalize. Place an order for materials and uh, get that all started. So, you guys have a great day. I hope everyone's feeling well. Um, and if you're not, I'm sending out well wishes to everyone. If you're feeling
filling well, they're getting better, they're happy, healthy, and safe. And as always, no word up, baby. No word about up, baby. You guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.